What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some breaking news. And the world number one, Novak Djokovic, he is going to the Olympics. We have a lot of players that have pulled out. We've already gone through those in the last couple of days. But the world number one, he is going to the Olympics. Let's go have a look at the statement that he brought out on Twitter. This is what Djokovic said over on Twitter. He said, I booked my flights for Tokyo and will proudly be joining hashtag Team Serbia for the Olympics. With much pride, I'm packing for Tokyo and joining our national team in the fight for the brightest medals at the Olympic arenas. For me, playing for Serbia was always a special joy and motivation. And I will give my best to make us all happy. Let's go. So there it is. Djokovic is going to the Olympics. Olympics. Now we have a lot of players that are not going to Olympics. We already went through that in a previous video. Go check that out if you haven't already, but obviously the big names being Nadal and Federer, they're not going to the Olympics, which kind of paves the way for Djokovic to go for his first gold medal. Hasn't won the gold medal at the Olympics in his career. He got a bronze medal back in 2008 in Beijing. And of course, he's won the first three slams of the year, the Australian Open, the French Open, and Wimbledon. The Golden Grand Slam is alive. He just has to win the gold medal and the US Open. The only player to ever do that in a single calendar year was Steph Steffi Graf back in 1988. So no man has done it. No one has done it. And of course, no one's won the calendar slam since Rod Laver did it all the way back in the late 60s. So it's been a long, long time for the men to have a chance of getting this. And now Novak Djokovic, he's going to the Olympics. Let me know down in the comments below. What are his chances? Because there are players that are still going at this stage that could be a little bit of a trouble to him. Daniel Medvedev is one of those players that we don't know yet if he's going to the Olympics. But if he is, it could be a little bit of trouble for Djokovic. And of course, the final city pass as well, Alexander Zverev. Andre Rublev. There are some young next-gen guys that could potentially hurt Djokovic in a best-of-three match, but let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Djokovic has got this sewn up? Because he is the only one who has actually confirmed that they're going to be playing the Olympics. So Novak Djokovic, he is going to the Olympics, and the Golden Slam is still alive.